Okay, boys and girls, another shoestring production here. I'm just trying to do this real quick. Um, this is on the Wi-Fi card's new direct mode. Now, let me first start off by saying that the Wi-Fi card is fantastic. I have thought it's fantastic since day one. I own about a half dozen of them. And I, I like to think I was one of the first people to have one uh, before they even had them in the stores. You could order them offline from them, and I was getting them from them. Um, and again, for those of you who should already know what the iFi card is, but I'm going to just explain to you again real quick. You put the iFi card in your camera. It's supposed to be a camera. You take a picture. It sends it out. It reaches an internet access point. The access point then receives it. And then it sends it to wherever you have told it to go to. So it could be your home computer. It could be YouTube, because it also does video, and it could go to, like, Picasso. I've just picked three. It can go to, like, a gazillion different places, okay? So, basically, this is a, a Wi-Fi transmitter. It's going to transmit to uh, an access point, and then it goes through there. Now, normally, you have your access point listed on your Wi-Fi card. So, you might have uh, your access point for your home. You might have your access point for your office. You might even have your cell phone, like I had my cell phone access point, uh, and I had all of those loaded on. And so I would take a picture, it would transmit to one of these pieces, and that would forward that on. Okay, here's the first issue that comes up with direct mode. You can't have all these, okay? This throws it off. Now, so the first thing you have to do, if you're going to make this work, and again, the iFi card has always been known for being very usable, very user friendly, and it still is. This direct mode is just a little tricky. So if you don't need direct mode, that's fine. If you do, hopefully this will explain to you what's going on and make it easier for you to use. I want to stress that the issues that you come up with aren't iFi's issues. They're just issues trying to make all of these things work together. All right. So the first thing you need to do is you put your card in your computer, you go into your iFi center, get rid of all these access points. And the reason being is it won't know what to, what to talk to with all of these access points. That can be a real, real problem. And that was one of the first issues I had. So you're going to go in and do that. You're going to go in and then put it in, go on the tab that says direct mode, and you're going to put it on and you're going to say, I think it's like one minute and one minute. I, I don't have a screenshot for that. That part's okay. If you do this, that'll take care of 90% of your problems because half the time what happens is, is this. You take a picture, you turn your access, you put your access card, you put it in, and it starts trying to talk to one of these access points and not direct mode, and that's not going to work. So get rid of the access points. So you don't want to have any access points. So how do I get my pictures? Well, this is what's going to happen is this. What's now going to happen is this. You're going to have your cam, you're going to have your chip in your camera, and it's going to talk to your tablet, or in this case, my Motorola Zoom. It's going to talk to my Motorola Zoom, because it's going to use that as its access point. So that's the only access point it really wants to talk to, and that's in direct mode. And then my Motorola Zoom will tell it to send it to my home computer, to YouTube, to wherever. That's a little different. You can control how this does it. Don't worry about your bandwidth. It, it will work through Wi-Fi. There's a whole bunch of different things. Don't worry about it. Okay? So that'll take care of that. Now, the next thing which is a little tricky uh, also with this is the following. When I'm doing this, uh, one of the things that I kept running into is that my Motorola Zoom, when I'm at home and I'm doing this, my Motorola Zoom keeps jumping to my home network. That ain't going to work. See, what has to happen is, is that this needs to talk to the Zoom, and the Zoom needs to talk to this. The good point of that is that means that you can do this anyway. You don't have to have an access point. In fact, it doesn't make a difference if you have an access point, because this is talking to this, and this is talking to that. Like my uncle, if there's too much confusion or too many opportunities, it gets all confused. So the first thing you have to do is wipe out the access points that it talks to on your iFi card. Now... For me, because I'm at home and I want to do this demonstration, I turned, I got rid of the access points that are on my Zoom. 
Now that's not the Zoom's problem, that's not the, oh, it's actually, it's more the Zoom's problem than the iFi. Because on the Zoom, just like with your home computer, I should really be able to say, this is an order of priority, this is my first one, this is my second, this is my third. It doesn't do that, so it just grabs one willy-nilly, and that's where you end up with a problem, because it could go on the other one. Okay, so you go and you get the app, which you can download from the Android Marketplace. Once you have the app, uh, you will, and this is the only problem I have with the iFi people, it's that it defaults to, to portrait mode, and then when you start doing other things, then it starts defaulting back and forth, so you have to, I have to keep turning the thing back and forth. I'm assuming that they will solve that uh, very shortly. So I go in, I sell my iFi card, if my iFi card is up and going, if it's in direct mode, if it's in my camera, it will pair up with this. This part is easy. If you've done the other two things I told you to do, get rid of your home access points for a few minutes, get rid of all the access points and this, put it in direct mode, this should not be a problem. Okay, so once I've done that, then I can go to Upload Preferences, and now it says, okay, what do I want it to do? Upload to computer, that means the pictures will come to my Zoom, then my Zoom will send them to the computer, uh, wherever or wherever else I have them sent to, it'll take care of that. Phone camera, all that means is, because I'm using my tablet, which does also have a camera in it, it's saying it will take whatever pictures I take with this and also send them up wherever, there's a, wherever my other pictures are going. I suggest that. Then it says Wi-Fi only. That means the pictures will come in. Remember now, this is talking to this, this is talking to this. So even though Wi-Fi is on, it's, they're not really looking at the Wi-Fi world. So the pictures will come from here into there. Wi-Fi only says, if you want, I will wait until I put them up onto the, I will wait until I get a regular Wi-Fi signal before I start pumping them out. Why do you want that? Well, if, for example, if you're on, like I am, on a, if you have a 3G tablet, you don't maybe don't want those pictures flying up and chewing up your bandwidth if you're taking a whole bunch of pictures. So you can say Wi-Fi only. I don't. I, I have the massive five gig plan for eight billion dollars, so therefore it's not a it's not a, a big deal. All right. So how does this work? Well, again, they always show you the little cutesy thing, and I I went over the pitfalls. The pitfalls are get rid of the Wi-Fi access points on this, get rid of them on that, and that is going to solve ninety nine percent of your problems. Now, after that. All I do is I put my camera on the inside, I put my chip on my camera. Uh, let's just do one other thing, sorry. Uh, application preferences. You can set all these different application preferences. The one I, I more want to show you right now is, is I turned on full screen mode. And that will, uh, that will help us out here. So now let's just do... I've got all these bizarre pictures that I took while I was testing. So let me just take a picture of this. Now, I have an older... I have an older camera so it doesn't talk to the Wi-Fi card uh, quite as nicely as it should there's a uh, probably about a 20 or 30 second delay sometimes I actually have to turn it off and turn it on in order to sort of uh, jar it so I'm gonna just keep talking here for a few seconds uh, I have found if I just do keep taking pictures they will eventually start showing up there is a little indicator, there's a little orange light, that little thing, and as you can see, boom, there it is, came right in. Okay, I'm not right in, but you get what I'm saying. Boom, there's the second picture I took. Let's take another little picture here of uh, Aphrodite. Let's take a picture of the other clown that my mother likes. Let's take a picture of the uh, McDonald's piece. And again, watch that little thing there. Boom, there's, this, there's that one. Boom, there's that one. Boom, there's that one. Let's just take a couple more pictures. And as you can see, and that's that's essentially what this is for. As you can see, my mom has collected all of this little bric-a-brac. And again, I'm just going to wait for that. Boom, there's the next picture. Boom, next one. Boom, next one. All right, I'll take one more just to show you that we're not... Not playing games here. Okay. And again, it's once you get started, it's okay. Removing, there we go. Removing the access points from both of those cards will improve your life so much better than you could possibly imagine. Because what happens is, is if there's any access points on your iFi card, it's going to start grabbing those. And if there's, and if you are in your home and there's access points that this is grabbing first then it's not going to work. This has to talk to this, this has to talk to that. That's it. Okay? 
great feature. I love it. And then in case, obviously, once it's in here, now I can do whatever I want to do. Uh, it has all of my same sharing features. You know, I can do send to i5. Uh, they have their own i5 view. That's fine. Uh, I have my own piece. Let's see, upload it. It will do all those automatically. Uh, what's, what's the other ones here? I can move through these. Okay, so I can move back and forth through these. And that's really what it's nice for because I can, I, you know, have that, take a picture. Let's see, take a picture. Uh, let's see, take another picture, take another picture, take another picture. Okay. And I know within a few seconds of taking those pictures, boom, boom, it's much better than the small little uh, piece that I had seen them on. I think it's actually, I think because I went backwards, I think it's thrown them at the end. Let's just go and see, because that's, that's actually told us, if we go by the icon, so that's an interesting piece to know, that if you're not on the end, there it is, yeah. So the ones I just took were at the end, so I guess you want to try and leave it on the last picture. That's an interesting feature. All right, let's just take another little picture here and see what happens. Let's take a picture of the clown again. And a picture of the elephant. And just see if that pops over now or whether I have to go out and go back in sort of full screen mode. See, those pictures I know just came in. There we go. There we go. All right. So, good to know. If you're, you, if you're at the end and you keep taking pictures, it will just automatically show you the next one. If you went back to do a review, it's going to take and um, stay there until the, the until you go through. Okay, so you can see once I get these two talking, we're actually fine and dandy. And again, those are actually already in my Zoom, so I have my choice of what I want to do. If I want to uh, delete them, I can delete them. If I want to email them, forward them, touch them up. See, there's a couple of nice. Uh, programs out there now, there's um, ePhoto and Photo and some other ones uh, that are really going to let you do some pretty fun things once you have the picture in. So you don't have to wait until you get home now to, to put them in. So again, that was the iFi mode, I'm sorry, the direct mode on the iFi card. Again, get rid of the access points here, get rid of the access points here, you should be fine. Remember, you, if you're at home, you can always add them back in. Hopefully, um, the next update will be able to pick and prioritize those cards, but until then, if you're at home and you're trying to use this, take those off. If you're outside, it makes no difference, you're fine. And you'll see, as soon as I took the card out, it defaulted back to my 3G because it's not picking up my home system. Okay? That's it. Hope you enjoy.